What is going on everybody? It is Ranger Marcus or Marcus Rareman and we are back with another video this time from Alabama. We're gonna be flipping some tin with Adam. We have seen him previously in the mud snake video, which was a great video. Um, we saw some pretty cool stuff while working and road cruising, so I'm gonna take you there first. But then we're gonna get back to today's video and uh, you know, hopefully we find some good snakes. Big targets for the day are the timber rattlesnake and the speckled king snake. So hopefully we can find both of those guys. The speckled king snake would be a lifer for me. Let's get straight to it. Oh my God, I just got on the road. That is a baby pine snake. Oh, that is unbelievable. That is actually unbelievable. I've seen one pine snake in my entire life and it was huge, huge snake back in Georgia. This is like a foot long, maybe a little over a foot long. Baby pine snake. Oh my gosh. I mean, it could not have been a better snake. This, this is the best snake probably on this road. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Baby pine snake. Oh my God, so cool. So before I pick this guy up and get some pictures and see how big this guy really is. It's really only a foot long. So here is a closer look at the head of this thing and you can see that interesting looking scale right in the front there that's what they use for um to help burrow a lot of like saddle nose uh snakes have that over on the west coast um leaf nose snakes but yeah these pine snakes also have that cool little yeah you can see it a little bit over there they got that cool scale right in front of their nose but yeah definitely a really cool snake there's no doubt that this is going to be the best snake of the day um, unless it's a coral snake. So really cool. I'm gonna get back out there and find some more snakes. These guys are also in the same genus as the bull snakes and gopher snakes, which you have seen a ton of on my channel. But yeah, second one ever. Hopefully that like orange kind of mahogany color is coming out on camera there. Really cool looking. Well, I remember the last time we got a pine snake over in Georgia, it was a incredibly cooperative snake. This guy has been one of the most uncooperative snakes, so it's been really difficult to take pictures, so I'm not gonna take any more of its time. We're gonna let this guy go on the other side of the road where we found him. So as I'm road cruising here, I stop at this bridge and I see there is a banded water snake right there. That's the first time I have seen a snake from this, uh, from this crossing right here. Pretty cool. But yeah, a little banded water snake, just chilling, maybe looking for, uh, for a meal or something, but pretty cool though. Not at this place. Oh, we're just dropping them off? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Go. All right, first one. 
First snake of the day that Adam and I got has a little black racer here. Second racer of the day, going back into its hole. Got a little skink right there. Here we go, a speckled king snake. It's my first ever lifer. Oh man, look at this guy. What a cool looking snake. So here is another look at the speckled king snake, and you can see this awesome ventral side here. Super yellow color. California king snakes you'll see sometimes have that, but definitely not to the same extent. You can see there there is banding here, um, but it's very discreet, a lot more speckling, which is why they get that name, you know, speckled king snake. But I'm, I'm gonna get some more pictures of this guy, and we're gonna let him go because we still gotta find some more, and uh, maybe a timber rattlesnake as well. Really cool looking snake though, another lifer for me. All right, releasing this guy under the tin that we found him under. Or her actually, I think it's a female. Really short tail. So we're out flipping tin. Got a female yellow belly slider. It looks like it's laying eggs right there. Right in the middle of this pathway. Another snake species for the day. Got a little rat snake here. This one is very in shed. Decent size, maybe about three feet or so. Probably not gonna get any pictures though. But another snake species on the day. Just got another little racer here. Put this guy back in the stack and keep looking. All right, and another snake species for today. We got a cottonmouth. Fairly decent sized one. Got some cool uh, patterning there. It's also got a red eye. It's hard to see here though. And there it goes. Another turtle we just spotted. Kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Not really any water around. Pretty interesting. Good looking one though. All right, so we just got another copperhead here. Actually, this is the first copperhead. And I flipped one right over there. Adam flipped this guy here. So two copperheads on the day now. Pretty cool. Both pretty small guys. And this guy all spazzy. At least copperheads are like that. Super spazzy. See that? Not really striking. They just kind of spaz their bodies in a weird way. So this guy right here has found a nice little hole, little burrow, and he's hiding right in there. Look at that cool, like bronze colored eye. What I always love about copperheads is the aberrant bands there and the Hershey Kisses. Right, right there. I just flipped two more of these guys. It's one copperhead, lighter in coloration. And this one, pretty big one, but darker in coloration.
All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. We had a great weekend and a great road cruising up in Florida and Alabama. We got to see a juvenile pine snake, which might be the find of the year. We will see, though. We saw a bunch of turtles in this video, including a common snapping turtle. Um, we also saw some really cool snakes with Adam up in Alabama, including six eastern copperheads, five black racers, a cottonmouth, my lifer speckled king snake, and an eastern rat snake. If you guys made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Peace.